hi welcome to my youtube channel so again we are back with one more tutorial on java fx okay if you are new to this youtube channel first go through the all the videos of java fx we have already discussed how to create some interfaces using java fx then how to use controller file then how to use uh, navigations those things we have already discussed in our tutorial series okay so in today tutorial we are going to discuss how to create an application using java fx okay so uh, i have already created one application so i'm going to give you a brief idea how to use these techniques how to use controller files how to use sample file how to use main java files and how to create a wonderful application using these some techniques okay so in this video we are going to talk about how to create a bmi calculator body mass index calculator using java fx techniques okay so we'll be seeing how to create this application so the first thing what you have to do is creating a interface for your application so here i have created one interface so if you see when you are creating one application using java fx when you create an object you will be getting these three files one main java file one controller file and one sample fxml file so for the sample xml file i have put these interfaces elements and created my interface so we'll be discussing a brief idea on how to create these uh, interfaces using scene builder okay so we will be having two basic in our scene builder application for the interface so what we call gui okay so here if you see the hierarchy i have used an anchor pane upon the anchor pane i am using a pane upon the pane i am using a one image view to get my background image else you can go with the uh, fx background image function also so here this is my image what i have selected pic.jpg and i have added it to the my sample file location if you see it clearly here in the hierarchy i have put my pic.jpg file also it is included to the main file directory and uh, so i have uh, created the main interface this one uh, upon the pane i have added the image view upon the image view i have added what are the needed elements for my uh, calculation so uh, for calculating the bmi calculator for the bmi i need a height and a weight to attributes which should be taken from the user then i should have one function for the calculate option so i need an element of a button then i will be having two more things why this is to show my bmi value and this is to show my what is the category belong okay so we'll see the controller file looks like so if you see it here this in interface designing you can do without any issue designing these things we have already been discussed in before tutorial okay so then we'll see the controller file so this is the controller file basically we need to create this interface and the application okay so in the controller file i'm having four main elements one for the text field and two the two for the label okay so, so i'm having two text fields tf1 and tf2 and i'm having two for the label lb1 and lb2 okay so when you after uh, initializing these labels you should initialize the function when you click the button it should perform a function so this is my function part so we'll see uh, what we have written and what we are going to do when we click the button okay so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to check whether my both the text field one and text field two are empty or not so in any case if i click calculate without any value it should be given error message why height without an height and without a weight we cannot do the calculation right so we should have both the height and weight so i'm going to ensure that user has input both the values to the text field so i'm going to check whether tf1 dot or tf2 dot get text 
of trim and I'm going to check whether that is empty or not if it is empty I'm going to give an alert message so how we are going to create alert message we need to alert a equal new of alert so alert is the function so you want to bring this JavaFX in controller alert function you should import as a library so here I am using the error message uh, as our alert type and I'm going to show it to the user so I have created the context please enter correct height and the weight and I have created the alert type and the we are going to show it if the my user has not input the values for the tf1 and tf2 okay the next part what we are going to do we want to do the calculation so for doing the calculation I need two values what height and weight so I'm going to take those values tf1 and tf2 so usually we know when we are going to take a value from text field it is usually a string value so first thing we what we want to do is we want to convert that string value to a float value so how we are going to do we are going to initialize two variable float a and float b and we are going to convert float a pairs float tf1 dot get text so what we are going to do is we are going to convert our string to a float value so at the end we will be having two variables a and b which is a float value which was converted from the text field to a float value so then I'm going to calculate the BMI so again the BMI is going to be an float value so the equation for the BMI is what weight divided by height of squared so weight divided by height squared is the our BMI equation so usually the weight should be in kilograms and height should be in meters okay so um, after uh, doing the calculation we can set the value into the label what we have created so in this case lb1 is the label here this is the label one so i'm going to uh, set the label one dot set text bmi so why we are using here upper quotes plus bmis here this bmis and float value so but lb1 is usually we are going to keep it as a text so if we just put the BMI value only it will give you errors showing that you cannot fix the float value inside the text field as a string so what you have to do is then you can add this upper quotes plus then value it will convert into any string and it will show without any errors okay so then in the next part we are having some algorithm why for algorithm we are going to calculate to which category this height and weight calculated BMI is belong so if you have Google you can find uh, what are the categories having using the BMI so we have we I found uh, three, four categories underweight normal weight overweight and obese okay so uh, if it is 18 less than 18 the BMI it is known as underweight if it is between 18.5 to 24.9 it is normal weight if it is between 24 24 plus 9 to uh, 29.9 it is overweight and if it is more than 29.9 it's called as obese or what we call as obesity okay so we have written a simple algorithm to find whether to which category this guy is belong okay so uh, this calculation you all know like uh, this calculation is similar to what we are calculating if you have a mark you are going to calculate the grade of the student same method you can use here also so I have written the equations for these things and I have calculated the what is the category which is he or she is going to belong then I'm what I'm going to do if it is less than 18.5 the BMI I'm going to set the LB2 what is LB2 is label 2 to the underweight so according to the category I'm going to set the category name over here over here we are going to set the category name so this is how the controller file is going to work so in the main Java file I did some uh, changes to the uh, width and the height I increased the width to 600 and height to 400 okay so uh, so before doing this part then I have connected the controller file and Java uh, controller Java file and sample fxml file by adding this 
controller connection fx controller sample controller we have already discussed why we are going to add this part in the before tutes and before uh, uh, tutorial so if you haven't gone through those youtube videos please just check why we are adding this controller part to uh, this fxml file then uh, what i have done and i have given all the uh, username fx ids to these places to the height weight and all the lb1 and lb2 and configured the controller file together with the sample file then what we can do we can run it and she check whether the code is compiling correctly so if i give a height like uh, 1.752 then i'll give kilograms 92 so it is calculated is e so belong to hobby so if we change the higher weight to 60 we'll check it is saying this is a normal weight if we go for around 40 you can see it is saying it is underweight percent so like that we can do the calculation so we'll check how this alert button is going to work so if we have if we are going to click without any values and calculate so it is showing enter correct height and weight so this is going this is like before uh, doing the calculation we are going to ensure that user has input height and weight correctly okay so this is how this system is going to work this is a very simple program so first thing what you have to do you can create your own interface so then you should select what are the attributes you need in this case i need height and weight only then there should be two places where i am going to display what is the bmi value and what is the category that he or she belong to okay then i am having one button why a button button is for the uh, perform this task okay when i click the button it will be taking this height and weight values and it will be dividing weight divided by height of squared and give you the bmi value so this all the functions will be doing in the controller file so in the controller file i'll have defined first all the elements what we need two text fields and two labels known as tf1 tf2 and lb1 lb2 then i have given a one function for the calculation of the bmi so in the first case i'm going to check whether the user has input the text field a value for the text field one and text field two if any one of these is empty we will be giving you a alert showing that please enter a correct height and a weight okay if not we are going for the our task of the controller file here we are going to first convert the text value or the string value to a float value first then we are going to calculate the bmi value how to calculate the bmi value uh, calculating the bmi value is divide by b divided by a squared that is mean by weight divided by height squared and we are going to calculate the bmi value then what we are going to do we are going to set it in the label one then we are going to find what is the category he or she belong to so there is a simple algorithm what we have written for uh, checking the uh, what he or she belong to the category what he or she belong to okay then uh, in the main java file i have uh, i done small changes to the uh, width and the height and if we run it you can see the interface clearly and you can give some values and check 1.78 and the height uh, okay weight it's around we'll give like uh, 80 then you can do the calculation you will be getting this value like this you can do these changes and check whether your answer is accurately you are getting or not okay so this is the uh, simple bmi calculator uh, using java fx and scene builder so if you have any issues in this tutorial you can just put a comment in the comment section i will be helping you to uh, find your errors in your code and to make sure that you are familiar with these concepts okay so thank you for joining with uh, my youtube channel so if you have any issues you can just drop a comment again in the comment section and don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel you will be getting good and more tutorial on javafx and other subjects as well